jump on and show you the goodies I got shopping last night. I went shopping with my mum and my sister as they were down in Adelaide for an appointment and I picked up a few things and I thought I would show you. They're not all from Target, it's just in a Target bag. So the first thing I got which I've already used is this little silicon face scrubber thing. Because of my dry skin condition which I I really am struggling to fix um, it is so much better than what it was may I just add but still I like am waking up with completely flaky skin and it's not very nice so I wanted something gentle but I guess harsh enough to scrub off the dead skin so I'm gonna try this with the face scrub that I use I just used it it feels really nice on the skin but I'll let you know if it's harsh enough I guess Otherwise, I literally stand in the shower and scratch with my nails, which is so, so bad for my skin. So, we're trying to avoid that. What else did I get from... That was from Big W, by the way. This is from Target. It's a blending sponge, and it comes with a little holder. And I think that is the greatest thing ever. Because mine's always rolling around on my dirty bench top or in my i just like throw it in my makeup bag to dry after i use it so this will be great this was from target and i believe it was only six dollars so get your hands on one of those if you want one i also picked up a angled foundation brush this is the angled brush by elf I'm going to use this for my transparent powder that I use under my eyes. I usually use a beauty blender for that, but I thought I would try a brush, so I picked this one up from Target as well. I went to Priceline and Chemist Warehouse, but I don't think I ended up buying anything from Chemist Warehouse. From Priceline, I picked up the Ordinary Hy Hyaluronic Acid. 2% plus B5. I use this on my skin most days. This uh, just helps to, I guess, hydrate my skin and that my skin actually absorbs the moisturizers and things I use. It's best used on a wet face. So I actually spray my face with water or just with my hands cup, put water on my face. Then I use, put this on just like a few drops into the palms of my hands, rub it in, rub it on my face. And then use my moisturizer and I have found I'm assuming this is what's helping my skin at the moment because yeah and I'm almost run out of the first bottle so I got a new one of those and then when I got my hair cut recently she put this really nice oil in the end and it made my hair feel so good for the rest of the day and then literally after I washed it the next day it was not the same so I'm like I'm gonna try something so I picked up this Schwarzkopf daily oil elixir Anyway, it's something, it's an oil. If anyone has used it, please let me know because I'm very interested to see how this goes. But after I wash my hair and maybe like after I straighten it, I plan on putting some of this in and hoping that... This is um, curls from yesterday, by the way. I did my own version of the curly girl method on my hair and this is after I've slept on it and put it up in a ponytail. So that's why. So yeah, got that oil. The last thing I got was just some underwear from Target. I like their Max brand. I just got this pair in grey. They were three for the price of two. I got all three pairs in grey. I got two of the bikini cut ones and one of the boy leg cut ones. If you really wanted to know what underwear I wear. They're only $6 each. So it worked out that I got three pairs for 12 bucks. So yeah, and that is literally all I got from my little shopping trip. There were lots of lovely things that I would have loved to have bought, but I didn't. So 
yeah, I will let you know how the oil goes in my hair and I'll let you know how my little face spongy thing goes as well. And yeah, I will tune in again with you soon. Hi everyone, I thought I would just give you a little update slash review on a few of the products that I've mentioned in this video. So firstly is the little silicon face scrubber thing that I mentioned at the start. I would say that I have really enjoyed using it in the shower. I don't know if it actually has been helping my skin but i would say that my skin is definitely feeling better i don't have as many like dry flaky days where i feel like i'm just like scratching off heaps of my skin so i would say that is definitely helping but then again maybe it's the other products that i'm using to moisturize my skin and my skin is now feeling more hydrated and better so i can't tell that's the main reason that it's better but I don't use it every time I'm in the shower because I don't want to harshly scratch off all my skin, but I definitely think that it's helping. The second product I wanted to review was the hair oil. I don't use this all the time and I definitely have found that I prefer the way it makes my hair feel when I use it on dry hair as opposed to when I use it as soon as I've washed my hair or my hair is wet. So if I have just straightened my hair then I will put a few drops in my hands, rub it together and then just like run it through the ends of my hair. I don't do it root to tip. I have found that it makes my hair feel super soft and almost like it did that time I came back from the hairdresser. You can also use it on wet hair but I find that it's just not quite the same. So yeah. I think they're the only two things that I said I would review. So I hope that's helpful. If you do pick up any of these products, please let me know. Or if you use them or if I'm using them wrong, please, please tell me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please give this video a thumbs up and feel free to comment below. You can also find me on other social media platforms. Uh, you can also find me on other social media platforms. All the links will be in the description below, as well as the description and links for the products that I mentioned in this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!